Welcome to Scary Town, the Goosebumps and Fear Street Review Show. This week, we're going to review the newest Goosebumps book in the Most Wanted series, and the very last of the Most Wanted series, and it is The Lizard of Oz. And there's the back there. And it says, the villains you want to have, the books you have to read. So, quickly kind of go over Most Wanted. This is actually the second book I've read. There was uh, another one that was kind of like the the book zero. It was The Haunted Mask. And it was, uh, it was a pretty long book. And it spread out in multiple parts. This one is pretty much a basic Goosebumps story. as not anything special like uh, Horrorland. So there's an intro with uh, Arl Stein and if you remember the the Goosebumps TV show I think it was only certain specials like the the Haunted Mask he would come in and do like a, an intro with himself and then say a bunch of cheesy jokes and so that's pretty much what this is and it kind of introduces uh, what, what's gonna happen and and why the series is called Most Wanted. And so that's basically it. The The story is uh, Kate Lipton and her family are kind of on hard times and her, her family is very eccentric. They, at first they wanted to have a miniature pony business where they sell miniature ponies, but that didn't take off. And so they turned it into a miniature pony uh, farm thing and that didn't take off either. So the next great idea, like, they're, like, running out of money, is to turn it into, a, like, a lizard farm where, like, they get a bunch of different lizards and stuff and do this, do that. So they borrow money from a family member to go all the way to Australia where there's this rare species of, of lizard. Reviewing this is difficult because this story has a really big twist to it and so it, it's kind of hard to kind of tiptoe around that uh, without revealing anything. So basically they meet up with this guy, he seems sort of trustworthy, like one of those characters that are a little, little, little too trustworthy I guess, too nice and squeaky clean, but he, he gives them this egg, where the egg's gonna hatch into this rare species of lizard and it also goes into why this is called the Lizard of Oz and that's basically a play warrants on Wizard of Oz and Oz is because well, they're Australia and then the the shortened version of Australia uh, sounds like Oz and so they, they call it the Lizard of Oz and <laughs> it, it's it's kind of a bit meta because the, the dad uh, comes up with the the name and then like the, his family kind of pretends to laugh at it, so I feel like it's kind of Arl Stein saying, <laughs> saying like this, where like he he's done a couple of other uh, books where the titles are just a play on words of other things, or other movies rather. There was the Nightmare on Clown Street, and so it's you know Nightmare on Elm Street. So that, is, that I found that to be pretty interesting. So basically, they they take the egg back. And there's this girl in Kate's class, Adele, who's like, you know, like super perfect. She's like gorgeous and like never makes any mistakes. Her family's rich and stuff. And so she's like basically richy rich. And so she doesn't believe that Kate has like this rare species of lizard. She thinks it's, she's just faking it with like an ordinary uh, egg you find in the supermarket. And so she shows her off. The, the egg but then it results into the egg falling down on the ground and then splat, splatting apparently there's like green goo comes out of it but like a little lizard comes out and so everything's cool but while uh, playing with it like she has to put the, the lizard into the, the cage uh, she gets bit by the lizard and then the the rest of the story like it's it's kind of like a bit of a bait and switch you think it's going to be all about the lizard but it's actually about her where her skin starts 
to form uh, scales and stuff, and she starts uh, doing weird things, not, not, not human things. And so it, it's kind of the story of her feeling like she's turning into a lizard. And that's, that's basically the story in a nutshell. So I won't ruin the ending because the ending is like this really nice twist that you really don't see coming until like the last about like 40 or 50 pages into the book, left of the book. And so that's, it's, it's pretty cool. I feel like this is not a great story, but a very solid story, if that makes any sense. And since this is the swan song of uh, Most Wanted, uh, I'm, I'm glad that this was a very, very good book. Just not something that's going to be really greatly remembered other than that is the footnote of this series. Because I feel the, the twist is really good, but the story really hinges on that twist in order for it to have that kick to it. Because otherwise it would just be <laughs> uh, kind of fall limp. But uh, like I say, it's a it's a really good book. I would definitely re recommend it. I already said like one of the negatives. The negatives is the the twist kind of uh, carries the book in a way, and there's like almost a really horrible way that this book could have ended, like in a really gruesome manner. But it kind of because it's goosebumps and it's poor supposed to be geared towards kids it kind of avoids uh, going in that direction but it is is kind of funny it, it is another one of those meta moments where you're like oh you know this could have happened but we're, we're not going to do that so that's really all the negatives i have the i mean the, the twist carries the book but the, the book is still really solid so definitely check it out lizard laws and another special treat is usually in Goosebumps books, uh, the next book in the, the series, they'll show like a, a couple of pages, like maybe one or two or three chapters of the book as a preview. This one, since Must Want's gone, it's like, okay, wh wh what's next? And next is Slappy World. And so, and so in a separate video, I'm going to read aloud a preview of the of Slappy World. So that, that'll be a lot of fun. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys this time. I'm gonna be really busy this this month of October, obviously Halloween, and I got a lot of uh, Halloween themed stuff going on. I'm gonna be reviewing uh, another most wanted book. The, the second and last one is The Haunter, which came out a couple months ago, and that's set on Halloween, and there's also a, another Let's Read, Give Yourself Goosebumps, uh, in store and that's going to be really cool because that's also set on Halloween. Let me know what you thought about the Most Wanted series. I haven't really read too much into it. So if there's any books you were looking forward to, uh, what do you think Slappy World's going to be? It's a completely new series. I don't know too much about it. So uh, let me know down in the comments and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>